very good to see you after the exam and knowing that you have passed it. Yes. So when did you get to know the results? Uh, I think uh, results were emailed to me in March of this year, in 2022. So I took exam in November 2021. So I took OSCE, which is now equivalent to OSCE 2 exam. All right, good. And, and I was admitted think... to the role uh, just uh, one week ago. <laughs> okay, and has there been any change and any impact on your career, Nana? Uh, yes, I receive more calls from recruiters. <laughs> oh, really? So because I work on uh, legal projects, uh, on contracts, uh, from periodically, I have to update my job search. And obviously, I see difference now because I get more calls from job recruiters. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell us a little bit about where you're working now, if you wish, and what your job responsibilities include, maybe. I mean, yes. the, the most recent job, if you have been promoted or if there has been any significant change, please tell us. Yeah, sure. So currently I'm based in UK, in England, and um, my recent project is with DIGO PLC, uh, where we work on certain regulations, which is related to sanctions, including Russian sanctions. So uh, we have to review, do certain checks regarding our customers. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the job, what I do. <laughs> and as far as I work on various legal projects, I believe when this uh, project is finished. I hope there will be another one. And uh, the fact that I have now, I'm now qualified as a solicitor, I think it would help me as well to get promoted in future. Yes. And, and now before getting qualified in the UK, in England and Wales, you were qualified in Georgia, as far as I know. Right? Yes. Uh, so, yeah, I was qualified in uh, Georgia as a lawyer, and once I moved to the UK, I moved in 2018, I thought maybe I should try to <laughs> could be qualified here as well. Uh, actually, uh, I tried twice uh, to pass this exam. At first, it was in 2020, and unfortunately, I wasn't successful. And second one was in 2021, and I was successful. And if I compare my preparation for a previous exam and the last one, it was very different from each other. So what exactly was different? Yes. So for my first exam, I would say that I wasn't that well prepared. I even didn't have time to do mocks and only a few mocks I remember. So only time what I had for is to read the books and not even to revise. So. Uh, when it comes to such serious exam, I think it's better to take your time. And if you feel that your plan, what you had to study, it's not accomplished, better not to try this time and try another time. And also provider, uh, which I use basically for my uh, first preparation, I think it was a bit general. And uh, uh, yes, it would be helpful if it was more specific and more oriented so on the tasks. So for my uh, second preparation, I just followed exactly instructions and slides, what are given in the slides of uh, OSCE smart platform. All this, uh, first of all, after I read the books once again, and then I start watching slides from Olga, which I believe are really uh, very, very accurate and very detail oriented. So once you read this book, it's easier to understand the slides and easier to memorize. And, yes, and, and by this time you you had read all the textbooks twice, right? Uh, yes, complete yes. readings, which is also essential. I think it also contributed to your preparation. Yes, so I believe that it's very essential to watch the slides. Well, you can watch them as well before reading the books, but to, to watch them again once you read this book because you um, understand topics in different way and you have then more questions, but. And secondly, I believe that uh, this practical advice about drafting and about interviews and all this practical uh, PDF files as well, which you have with suggestions, were very helpful because uh, if I have reviewed this before my first exam and studied so well, I believe I would have passed it from my first attempt. Oh, really? I, do you mean, than ever, so. yeah. Nana, Nana, do you mean those video lectures and skills 
like on, on what to focus on when conducting an interview, then in an attendance note advocacy? Do you mean these video lectures on skills? Uh, yes, on skills. Uh, well, these video lectures are also very important, but I found very helpful these PDF uh, files where, for example, for presentations, you have probably different topics and it literally you need to memorize it because there are yeah. such tests which are very helpful. If the, you have this topic and you apply this test, it's like possibility that you will pass this exam with 90%, I guess. And also for interview, Oh, actually, uh, what I found a bit surprising if I compare my first uh, exam and the second one, a bit interview because clients this time, uh, um, they did not seem that eager to share with you information. So you literally had to ask questions about everything. And uh, this 10 minutes, what you have to prepare for the interview is really essential. And now when you came to the exam, did you feel, Nana, for the second time, or maybe even for the first time, that you were quite prepared, that you knew what to expect uh, in the exam in each of the assessments? Mm, well, when it comes to exam, you never 100% feel that you are quite prepared. You always have this uh, internal stress. But uh, yes, uh, when I sit my last exam now, I, I was more confident. I felt that now I'm better prepared that this I did my best so now it's just time to shoot it. Right, yeah. right. What do you think was the biggest challenge for you in the second sitting? In general I would say like this that uh, I think difficulty of all the tasks are more or less uh, the same. Uh, all of them are challenging I believe uh, but I would say that research uh, was uh, a bit more difficult comparing with other tasks but because I knew that it's difficult, I practiced really a lot uh, regarding research uh, and the Lexis database mostly. And I think that research I did well, uh, but uh, as I mentioned before, uh, this uh, part with uh, clients and interview, I think that I could have asked more questions during interview. I think I should have some big points there because uh, I focused more on challenging parts like research, drafting, and maybe I focused a bit less on interview where I thought that everything would be easier. So uh, in general, research was more difficult, but I think for me, uh, I might receive less marks in the interview. All right, all right. Is, it, is it because you did more mocks with Oski Smart before the second sitting or before the first sitting? When did you do more interviews and more practical mocks? Uh, for second, of course. I think for my first sitting, I just did I just uh, two, um, two interviews and one presentation. And uh, yeah. so mm -hmm. in second one, I took additional mocks. I remember I had uh, five or six interviews, uh, two presentations. So I also had drafting, uh, writing, mm -hmm. and research. It was very helpful. All these mocks are. Uh, really similar to exams and they are very helpful. Right, it's good to know. Thank you, Nana. And when did you start preparing for the second sitting? Because I can hear that there was a lot of mocks involved, right? And when did you start conducting them? For my second sitting, uh, I think I started my preparation, uh, if I remember correctly, in March. So my second sitting was uh, in November and I started my preparation in March. So, and so if I take overall this period of my preparation, I would say that for my first and second preparation, if I take out these gaps, I think uh, overall, I think it was one uh, year and two months. And from this one year and two months, two months was like in intensive preparation. It means that uh, Sometimes you should say no to watching Netflix <laughs> in the evening or some socializing for weekends or months. Yeah. And now, Nana, what about your family? How did your family treat this preparation and that you had to allot so much time to it? Were they supportive? Um, is there anything that you would like to share with us in this context? Uh, yes, um, actually, because when I started this preparation, I had a newborn baby. Uh, I really oh, need really? Su yes. oh. the support is very important. And uh, well, there is also person nanny who was taking care of the baby. But uh, I think my husband also 
working very well. And yeah, support from a family is important because there are circumstances when you may be down or you really need to some more, more time and uh, it's uh, very important if there is somebody to help you with this. So my suggestion is that if you decide to, to take this exam, which is now called uh, solicitor's exams, yes, you too, it's uh, better uh, to like eliminate some additional tasks, just try to focus on this exam because uh, it's uh, quite important. And so that there's no background noise and you can focus entirely and exclusively on your preparation to this qualifying exam. Yes. Well, it's impossible to focus exclusively. We are all people and something will be going on, but just, uh, yeah, just try uh, your best. Yeah. Right. And now, Nana, in, in this job that you are having now, do you feel that you are more confident with what you have learned uh, for the OSCE in terms of skills and knowledge? Yes, absolutely. Uh, in both, uh, in terms of uh, skills, like communication, um, approach to the subject, uh, it's very important. I, I believe, yes, this uh, school and this preparation of OSCE uh, really improves your knowledge and your skills as a professional lawyer. Uh, that's why this exam is so difficult, because it requires a lot of work on yourself. And knowledge uh, as well, um, because you get uh, knowledge from many different various fields of law, which is company law, appropriate property, criminal, civil, and it, for sure you will need this set work in future. So yeah, it's very helpful. Absolutely. Right, right, right. And then Nana, and how did you find uh, the amount of independent work that was involved in preparing for the OSCE? Because based on what you are saying, studying all the notes and doing two complete readings of all the books, in my opinion, that involves a lot of independent work. Do you feel you are better organized as a professional now? Or do you think that it's an inborn capacity? How, how has it been, um, how has it affected um, your character and your professional skills? Yes, obviously, uh, in terms of time management, <laughs> it affects positively because you value every hour, every minute, because you, you, you learn how to manage your time better, I believe. And uh, also, you learn how to achieve your aim. So, for example, you have to do this. So, this, uh, you learn habits that you have to complete your task. And uh, so, yes. Right. So you felt comfortable with working independently, didn't you? Yes, I feel comfortable, but uh, uh, but only in terms of uh, studying and knowledge. But uh, for practicing mocks and uh, additional consultation, for sure, you need support of the school. And in this case, OSCE Smart, I really found helpful because even when you are reading these books, there are certain questions, certain paragraphs, which is difficult to understand. But when you watch the slides, it's very well and detailed explained there. And then it's easier for you to understand. All right. So what you mean is that you have to find the right balance between working independently, right? And interacting with tutors as part of your mocks. Yes. Feedback, right. And also uh, maybe online webinars if you did our OSGSs. Yes. I think you participated in them. Yes, they are also quite relevant and very helpful to pass exam. Yes, online. All right, good. Thank you, Nana. Um, then, which of the two assessments were more challenging to you in this second exam? Was it part one uh, or part two? Did you feel better about writing or doing oral mocks? Mm, I think I still uh, felt better about uh, oral mocks, maybe. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's, it was the same, but. Yeah, uh, I think I did well in, in presentation uh, and in certain points, in right, I, I still think that maybe oral mocks were easy. Mm -hmm. All right, well, still easy, right. Why, but, no, did you have any technical difficulties perhaps with written mocks? Did you? Oh, they had to change my computer. <laughs> oh, really? Actually, so they replaced the computer because you were exp you, you were having some issues with it. Uh, I don't remember exactly what was there, but a screen was frozen, I think, or something like this. But I was happy that it was uh, between the tasks, so not during the exam. 
because we have plans to install or refresh something. And then I just have to sit back on another computer and so just right. But next so day I went back to my seat. <laughs> you acted at once, right? You saw that there was something wrong with the computer, and what did you do? You raise your hand as they come immediately. At that time, they asked us to do certain tasks, and it was not only me who had issue. Oh, and what I found very helpful at the exams, they are offering you earplugs, right? Uh, if you so, for my first exam, uh, first day of writing, I did not take this. And this noise of typing from other candidates could be really disturbing. And I was a bit disturbed with this. So second day, I thought maybe I will, I will just take it and let's see, maybe there will be a difference. Uh, and it was very big difference because it, uh, when you just uh, don't hear the typing from other candidates and so on, it makes really big difference. You are more focused on your tasks and you your writing skills are better. So. My advice is just to try to take this airplugs, what they offer, and maybe, yeah, maybe it helps. Yes, and in order to give yourself an opportunity to be more focused. Yes, yes. It, I, yeah. I really saw difference, and I regret that I did not take, take it from the first day. When they offered. All right, all right. But also, based on what you are saying, you have to be prepared to all kinds of unexpected things, like when the computer goes blank, right? You have to be balanced and yes. focused and don't let it interfere uh, with your performance. And I think that's what happened with you. It did not interfere with your performance based on the results. Yes, yes. Yeah, so I think it's important to disregard all the distractions, all this noise, and just to focus right on showing your knowledge and, and proving your skill in this examination. Yes, absolutely. Because okay. this is your chance, and this is only one chance to show your uh, skills and knowledge. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, Nana, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your experience with us. And once again, we were so happy to hear from you when you wrote that you did it, that you got through, and you wouldn't have to do it again. And I think that you really deserved it. And all the tutors here agreed. We remember how hard you worked and how much you invested, how much energy and determination you invested in, in your preparation. So I really am happy to see that it worked for you. Thank you very much and thank you for inviting me. And I'm also very thankful to your school and all this very, very useful suggestions which I have received from you. Thank you. It's very good to hear that. And I'm sure that all Oski Smart tutors will be wishing you good luck in your new project that you referred to earlier and wishing you lots of new, exciting opportunities and new projects, Nana. And we hope to hear from you and uh, just to get in touch with you from time to time. Thank you very much for nice words, Irina. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. All right, Nana. So take care and do get in touch with us.